Hey everyone, welcome back to Web Hosting 101. This video is called How to Associate Your Domain Name with Your Hosting Package. In the last video, I showed you how to purchase a hosting package with Just Host. And that was based on the user case where you would have bought your domain name and your hosting package all in one place with Just Host. But in this video, I'm going to show you how you connect your domain name from GoDaddy with your hosting package with Just Host. It's really simple, and I'm going to show you how to do it right now. So, first thing you do is navigate to GoDaddy.com and log into your account. Enter your username or your customer number and your password, and then hit login. All right, and then click on My Account. And so in my account, you will see domains, open that up and then click on the domain that you want to associate with your hosting package. So hit launch and then in here, you will see something called name servers down here. And all you need to do in your control panel for GoDaddy is click set name servers. Now, Just Host's name servers are ns1.justhost.com and name server 2 is ns2.justhost.com. That's it. Make sure you choose I have specific name servers for my domains. Enter ns1.justhost.com, ns2.justhost.com, then hit OK. And it says these changes will usually take two hours. However, it may take up to 48 hours for the changes to take effect. Um, and they're just estimates. For me, it takes about a, a couple hours in my experience. So that's all you need to do here. Now your name servers for your control panel, or sorry, for your domain, is pointing towards your hosting package. It basically just points your browser to just host rather than GoDaddy to navigate to your website. <laughs> So now the next thing you're going to want to do is go to your just host control panel. So you do that by going my.justhost.com and then log in with your domain or username and your password. And here's your control panel. What you'll want to do now is scroll down to domains and then click on add on domains. So step one is to enter a domain. So use a domain that's already associated with your account or use a domain that is not already associated with your account. All right, so step one, enter your domain. Choose the second option. Use a domain that is not already associated with your account. So I'm just going to put uh, a website I already own, makecrepes.ca. So it's, it tells me that, I already, that, that this is already assigned as an add-on domain. You'll see something different, and there will be something in your step two. You'll verify the ownership. You follow those directions, and all this would be would be some self self-explanatory steps you just need to follow it might even just be a button to click to verify and then step three choose add-on versus parked so add-on domain is a domain name that points to a different subdirectory on your account and it gives you the ability to make it look like an entirely different website this is what you want this is exactly what you want to do so essentially what it would be is on your hosting account uh, you're gonna have a directory that points to your website and when people type in your website.com whatever it may be just host will tell your browser to navigate to that subdirectory and then step four choose an add-on domain directory and subdomain create a new directory so it gives you the default what it you know what it thinks it should be i would just leave it subdomain this will just be you can also navigate to your website if you already own a domain name it will just give you the option of having a subdirectory. So for example, in this case, makecrepes.bradhussey.ca would also go to makecrepes.ca. 
Um, but in your case, I would just leave all the defaults. All you really need to do is use a domain that's not already associated with your account, type it in, verify the ownership, follow the, the directions in step two, and step three, choose add on domain, leave the defaults, and then assign this domain. Could be a couple hours, could be more. Um, in my experience, it's only been a couple hours, sometimes not even that. And then your GoDaddy domain will officially be connected and associated with your just host hosting package. So then you can type in your website in the navigation bar up here, and you will be navigated to just the plain old just host landing page uh, for your website until you actually upload content or start doing something with it. So just as a really quick review of what we did, We went to our GoDaddy control panel. We set our name servers to ns1.justhost.com and ns2.justhost.com. Once you set those name servers, it could take a couple hours up to 48 hours to propagate the servers and have them point in the correct uh, direction. And then go to your just host control panel or C panel. Choose under domains, add on domains. Use a domain that is not already associated. Type the domain name in. Verify the ownership. Choose add on. Leave these default, assign the domain. After a couple hours, maybe less, your domain name will be associated with your hosting package. And then you're ready to start uploading your website to your hosting package so that people can navigate to yourwebsite.com and then start viewing your website. So in the next video, I'm going to show you how to do exactly that, how to upload your website to your domain via FTP. So look forward to that video. I'll see you then.